and welcome back, especially those for the first time coming back to this, the mass, physical mass of the shrine. And also greetings to our uh, fellow worshipers who are uh, worshiping with us through this live streaming in other parts of, uh, in their homes or uh, even other parts of uh, the country or uh, the world. And I take the opportunity to greet people, friends who are also following. I, I was surprised that some of my friends in Argentina where I worked as missionaries are following our uh, live streaming, some of them. So I would like to take this opportunity to greet them. Buenas uh, tardes o buenos días a los amigos en la Argentina que están uh, con nosotros en esta uh, Santa Misa a través del Facebook. Bendiciones a todos ustedes. Every uh, fourth Sunday of uh, October is designated as the World Mission Sunday. And uh, this is a very significant for the church, but also for us, your priest here at Christ the King, Sacred Heart Parish, Biolago. No, this is a congregation of the Society of the Divine Word. Which, whose mission, main mission is precisely mission. This is the uh, identity, charism of the SVD and also the other uh, congregations uh, founded by St. Arnold Janssen, the Pink Sisters, although they are inside their, their uh, convent it is also for the mission why St. Arnold founded them. And the other one is the active, the, the SSPS, or we call them uh, popularly the Blue Sisters, because we have the pink and the blue. Now, all these congregations were founded by St. Arnold Janssen for the mission. There is a joke among us that... Uh, the last one he founded was the Pink Sisters, devoted to prayer. No. Because the joke is, because Arnold must have realized that missionaries did not pray or did not have much time to pray. So he, he provided an anchor, a pillar, for the missionaries to pray for for the those inactive mission. What is the? Uh, I would like to share therefore the meaning of mission for us Christians, especially called to follow the Lord. There is one uh, beautiful. Uh, declaration made by the church during Vatican II, that is about 60, almost 60 years ago, when it declared there in one of the documents said, the pilgrim church is missionary by her very nature. The pilgrim church is missionary by her very nature. Since it is from the mission of the Son, Jesus Christ, and the mission of the Holy Spirit, that she draws her origin, meaning the church, in accordance with the decree of God the, the Father. In other words, mission, to put it in another way, is part of the DNA of the church. The church cannot be church called church if the church doesn't live her mission. As the document says, 
on the mission of the church that it is from the mission of the Son, Jesus Christ, who was sent by the Father into the world, and also the mission of the Holy Spirit is the foundation or the basis of mission. In other words, mission is not a kind of an invention of the church para what mayroon siyang gagawin. It is rooted in the very mission of Jesus Christ who came into our world to become human like us, to save us from our sins, proclaim the good news, and bring us back to God. This is the identity of the church. If we may compare it, a, uh, a dancer who refuses to dance, you cannot call that, any, that person anymore a dancer. The same way when the church, because of her nature and identity, is mission, if she doesn't perform this mission, then it cannot be true church anymore. And what is the, the basis of this? As we have said, it is not an invention nor, nor initiative of the church, this mission. At the core of the mission of the Son and of the Holy Spirit is God's love who wants to share this love to His creation. Through the Son and the Spirit, God expressed His love for humanity by coming among us as our brother and realize His mission. So with the Holy Spirit that was poured into our hearts. And this mission did not stop with Jesus. It also flowed to his followers. And we have received that mission when we were baptized. This mission of Jesus and the Holy Spirit became ours through baptism. By making us participant not only of the life of God in Jesus, not only of participating in his, the grace, in His grace, in the dignity of being children of God, but also He made us as participant of this mission. And Jesus express this love for humanity through many forms in his preaching the good news, animating the people to conversion, to open up their selves to God in faith, inviting them to participate in the life of God which we call the kingdom of God. The God, the kingdom of truth, justice, love, peace. And he gave precisely himself as a testimony to his fidelity, to his mission. And the reading today is an expression precisely of Jesus' mission of bringing light, bringing life, bringing direction to Bartimaeus, the blind Bartimaeus, and make him participant in his life. I do not know if you have noticed at the end of the gospel today, it says, go your way, Jesus said. Your faith, you have been healed. And you know what Bartimaeus did? He started to follow Jesus. He did not went away. He started to follow him. And that is, I think, 
the the part of our of our calling that after having received so much from the Lord the divine life we receive in baptism that life that is engendered and made strong every time we receive him in the com communion and the sacraments of the church no. these are concrete expressions of making us participant in his life and now the other part of course is our mission to share also the kingdom the good news of the kingdom the kingdom as we have said of peace love truth justice therefore the the mission of Jesus has become ours through our baptism gone were the days when mission was understood in the narrow sense mission was seen some decades ago as exclusively understood as going to the foreign mission where the gospel has not been preached now the church especially with the teaching of uh, Pope Francis that mission is in the first place at its core it is going out of oneself one's comfort zone in order to express that love that service to others and in doing so proclaiming God's name God's kingdom around us so it doesn't matter anymore the place to do mission before it was understood as going to Africa to Latin America or e e here in Asia no that was the exclusive understanding of mission now it has been amplified that it includes every situation every place is a place for mission so mission therefore happens in the family at work in society in politics all these become places of mission and uh, but having said that I would like also to point out that the mission agentes what they call the mission agentes that means foreign mission is still an urgent an integral part of the church's mission there are so many who have not heard yet or known Christ or his gospel yet our places or there are places still where are already Christians but because of lack of priests missionaries church workers these Christians go astray because of lack of priests and pastors to guide them many baptized Catholics are converting for example to Pentecostal religions groups because of lack of priests pastors to guide them and I have seen this concretely when I was in Argentina as a missionary you have vast uh, parishes the nearest uh, the farthest would be around 50 60 kilometers away of chapel but you have to go because otherwise if you do not go 
no one to take care of them they would be converted by the uh, Pentecostals there at, now we see here the uh, the urgency yet of mission that's why the SVDs and the other congregations here that we have are still we are still recruiting people to join us and we are very grateful to God that this year even in the midst of pandemic we still have around 60 seminarians here in our seminary thank you for your prayers and support no many times you would hear our appeal for prayer for material and financial support thank you because we have we can continue forming them no, for the mission and you are part of the, our mission and uh, every year we are able to send for example missionaries to Africa here in Asia Latin America even Europe because you continue to support us with your prayers with your material and financial support because to educate and prepare young people for the mission it takes 10 11 years and uh, thank you really for your support now father louis who is uh, in charge of our uh, promotion for the support of our seminary for example is very happy that uh, in the midst of pandem this pandemic people generous people like you now are supporting our mission dear friends mission understood more broadly includes our going out of ourselves to be at service of the others to be at the service especially of the needy whether in the family in the society in the church in politics and anywhere and everywhere mission is possible but also this special mission to those to places where the gospel has not been adequately preached we need also to contribute and for us it is a cause of uh, pride and joy because that uh, uh, group or uh, office in the Vatican that supervises the missionary work of the church is headed by none other than our kababayan Cardinal Tagle as if the Pope is telling us well, you who have been evangelized and have received so many missionaries, now it's time for you. Now, and he placed him as the head of this propagation of faith, an office in in Vatican. And uh, all the more, as we celebrate the 500 years, let it be our expression of our gratitude and pride as Filipino Catholics Christians who have received Christ the gift of faith also to contribute to help the mission of the church once again as I thank you for your presence in our mission and your help in our mission it is also, I challenge you also to continue to be missionaries in every situation where you are. And remember now that we, that it is part of our DNA as Christians, as Catholics, our mission. If we cease to perform our mission, we cease to be good Christians, good Catholics. May the Lord bless each one of you, your families, and finally, for those young people, 
take as an option also no the option of being a missionary it's a meaningful life to be missionary and i can uh, i can assure you that it is not without cross but it is a meaningful life to become missionary i spent almost nine years in argentina spent uh, three years in madrid helping in the mission and it is indeed gratifying fulfilling and meaningful of course the the joy of being able to share our faith and our service to christ is in itself the reward kaya yung mga kabataan na hindi pa alam kung anong gagawin ng buhay sa buhay naghahanap ng kabuluhan sa buhay maybe god consider it no? as an option for the girls well you have the sisters the ssps and other congregations or our pink sisters they are also missionaries and for uh, young men to join the SBDs and other missionary congregations may god bless us all amen we profess our faith as a church as a missionary church saying